All right, guys, this is CH, and welcome back to our 37th video, and this is the video you guys have all been waiting for. How to use PHP with MySQL in HTML, because you guys now know enough PHP and MySQL to make this happen. And again, you guys are all legends for making it this far. So there's five steps that we need to do to create our database to connect our database to our HTML using PHP. And I just opened up Microsoft Word and made a little list right here. I've had this on my wall for about a year. I know I definitely know how to connect to a database now. I just haven't taken it down because this reminds me of when I first started learning PHP and MySQL. Okay, so let's break it down. Our first step is we need to create a connection. And our second step is we need to select a database. Third step is perform a database query, which is a question that we're going to ask our database. And our fourth step is to return that data. And our fifth step is to close the connection. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's go ahead and create a connection above our HTML tag. Here's our HTML opening tag. And here's how we do it. And I'm going to add a bunch of comments in, uh, in our PHP tags as well. So you guys have a thorough understanding of what is going on. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to create PHP, drop down a little bit, and I'm going to make a comment right here, a single line comment, and this is our first step. Create a database connection. Okay, so now we need to create a variable, and you can call this anything you want, but I recommend making it simple. Make it like connect or database or connection. I'll go ahead and just create this variable called connect and we are going to use the PHP function my SQL underscore connect and in our parentheses we need what do we need what do we need we need three arguments we need our server our user and our password so first we'll put in our server and we we're on localhost we've been on localhost this whole time aka Apache and what was our username? Well, we never created one, so by default it was root. And then what was our password? Again, we never created one, so we just have to go ahead and give it quotations, and that'll take care of itself. And we're going to close that out, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to open it up in the browser, and if nothing happens, we're on pace. Okay, perfect, because we do have something in here where our information is not correct. So we don't have a password, but say we did, and I'll just splatter something in like GH, whatever, just anything you want to type, type it in there for your password. And reload it. And PHP lets us know that we have an error. Access denied for wrote at localhost using password on line three. Well, we know this is line three, and we know that we never set a password. So I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna reload it, just to clean that up, and perfect. Okay, so now what's the second step? We need to select a database. And I'm going to do this right underneath our PHP code, but still above our HTML opening tags. I'll bring this up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and create PHP. Less, less lines of code is always better. Let's go ahead and create another comment. And let's go ahead and just type in select a database. And I have a phone call, so I'm going to pause this, but you guys aren't even going to know. I'm on the phone for 40 minutes, but you guys have no idea, because I can pause and play my, uh, what, do I, what do I got, ScreenFlow, Quick Player, my video. So never mind that. Okay, so let's create another variable, and I'm going to go ahead and just call this DB for database. I'll just type out database. And again, you can create your variable, whatever you want to, whatever your little heart desires. And the PHP function we're going to use for this is my SQL underscore select underscore DB. And you guys are probably thinking I'm making this up. And that's what I thought when I first learned PHP. I was like, there's no way, you know, when how I learned this, this is going to check out. But it does. And everything has to be spelled correctly. This is all lowercase. And uh, if you guys don't believe me, take out the B and then reload it and see if it works. And it's not. So just believe me on this one, or you're going to waste some of your time. So what did we name our database? I think we named it Guitar. Yep. And how are we going to connect to it? Well, with that variable we just created up here called Connect. I'm going to go ahead and close that out, and I'm going to save it. And if nothing happens, we're still on pace. Perfect. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys created a database connection, and you were able to select a database 
I don't know if you guys created your database the name of guitar like I did, but make sure that that's correct and that's the database that you created in PHP MyAdmin. And in the next video, I'll show you guys the third step.